Alright, so in this video we're just going to be unboxing this thing and then we're going to be taking a look at it at the end of the video as well. And later I'll come up with the full review. So, when you unbox it you'll get this little tiny thing. Um, it's ridiculously small. When you look at the page, you don't realize how really small it is. But, this is what it is. So, here are a bunch of things that we are having taken out of the box. There's a lot of stuff actually. Alright, so here's the manual. It comes in four different colors, which is really cool. We got full color pictures inside the manual, which is really nice. And it seems like this manual is really concise and cool. So we got here a USB charger. So it seems like this thing is powered by USB, which is important and really cool. So it's a 5 volt 2 amp charger. That is nice to see. And then next we get, what is this? It seems like a docking station of some sort. We'll find out how this thing works. All right. Next up we have this USB cable. And this cable is about three feet or so. Uh, really high quality, thick cable, nice grip. And it is a micro USB. And finally, in the good box, we get also a tripod. Now it's a full aluminum tripod. It seems like it comes out like so. That is really cool. So that is, that's actually, that's pretty good. Um, usually when I see these tripods, they're pretty horrible. But honestly, um, it feels really solid in the hand. Uh, full aluminum, of course. So yeah. A really good tripod for once. All right, and finally we get to the projector itself. So uh, it seems like it's going to be a fingerprint magnet, but that's fine. Looks really nice. All right, so let's uh, let's take this out. Okay, and there we go. Now tell me if I'm wrong, but doesn't this look like a tiny speaker when it really is a full-fledged projector in this tiny thing, and it has a 2,000 milliamp battery to power this thing, and it can be charged through a micro USB cable. This is the ultimate projector guys. So we have a headphone jack, it seems like an LED indicator over here, the micro USB, a bunch of ventilation all around. Here's a little tiny projector right there. And uh, we have the focus dial, this little tiny cute focus dial, that's pretty cool. And a micro SD card slot, and that is all. So uh, this is the docking station, so, oh okay that's, okay, that's what it is. So yeah, that is the docking station and that's where the tripod connects under here. And then you can set it up and have the projector projecting. And then you can easily pop the projector out when you need to. So uh, that's pretty cool. Let's plug it in. All right, so I have cleared up some space over here, enough room to uh, project on the wall. And I can pull this table even more if I want so I can uh, see how far we can get and how big the screen can get and still have enough light. So let's turn off the lights and see what it looks like. All right, so here we go. Check that out. We got backlight buttons. And holy crap, check that out. Now that's right. All right, let's wait for it. Wow, I'm pulling it back right now and it's just getting bigger and bigger. And you can see that it says Android. Now I don't know what that means, but from the looks of it, it looks like it has a full Android system. Again, I'm not too sure, but let's see if that's true later on. Now, I mean, the room right now, it has this light right here, and you can see how bright it is compared to my screens and my computer. That is really bright, just for comparison, because sometimes in camera settings, it can make it look brighter or darker. And right now, you have my computer that's really bright, and you have this projector. And I don't even have enough room left to pull back and see how bright it can still be while pulling back here. And guys, check that out, it is super bright. Okay, I mean, this is just insane for this tiny thing. All right, so let's see how we can control this thing. Okay, so we got touch. That's cool, press enter. Okay, so we got Miracast for Android as well as Windows. So if you don't know what Miracast is, it pretty much projects your phone onto the device that is taking the signal from. So for example, you can have your phone in your hand and you'll see exactly what your phone display is displaying on the screen here, which is really awesome. So uh, let's go back here. So you even have AirPlay. So you can have your whole library from AirPlay running on this thing. This is pretty awesome. Um, we got OTG, so that's pretty cool. All right, at settings, let's see what's in settings. Wi-Fi brightness settings. Let's see if we can get it even brighter. I mean, if it can even get even brighter, that's that's just insane. All right, so we can play from an SD card or a USB. We'll quickly put in something to test it out and see how the quality looks like. And finally, let's go here, and there you go. All right, so let me quickly put in a USB with uh, some kind of video and see what it looks like. All right, so I'm playing this now with the projector mounted on top of my camera and uh, the microphone is in my hand. And believe it or not, this thing has a pretty loud and not bad at all of a speaker for what this thing is. So uh, take a listen at what it sounds like here. I didn't ask to be super and I'm no hero. But when you find out your worst enemy is after your best girl, the time has come to be a fucking superhero. Bullshit. 
Colossus. Besides, nobody's getting hurt. That guy was up there before we got here. Knock, knock, open up. I played a lot of roles. Damn's long distress ain't one of them. Alright, so we have just taken a look at a movie trailer as well as anime. We had a Deadpool trailer as well as some Ghost in the Shell epic firefight. So, honestly I am just really blown away on how good this projector really is. I mean, the quality you're getting out of this from this tiny little thing and plus it has a portable battery and mirror cast and AC Wi-Fi and SD card and OTG cable, that's how I played the videos. The cable is not included but it is just amazing on how good this thing is. And the speaker it has is actually not bad. It's not the best, obviously, but there is no distortion. It's just kind of flat. It's okay. It's pretty loud and it does the job. And I've been thinking, this thing can make the perfect bedside projector. Just imagine having this beside your bed or on top of your bed and projecting upwards. And you can watch your shows using this thing. And if you want, you can even do Miracast. And Miracast, you can display your laptop wirelessly, your Android phone, your... Apple device, I mean, whatever you want to do, you can totally do it. And you can even read files wirelessly using this thing. I mean, just think of the possibilities. You can throw in a portable speaker and you have yourself a crazy amazing bedside entertainment system that you can project upwards. Just imagine laying down on your bed and watching your shows on the ceiling. That is just really cool. So, yeah, the quad core and one gig of RAM is really useful in these type of situations. But yeah guys, that is actually pretty much it for this unboxing. This was a quick test to see what it's like 